Pro Jared did an oopsie. James Charles did probably the biggest oopsie of all time. <laughs> and PewDiePie, no oopsie this week. I'm Glory Poopy. And you're watching Pew News. What's that? PewDiePie did do an oopsie this week. Damn it! PewDiePie here. I'd just like to apologize for my oopsie this week. I don't know where to begin. I thought the dog from Up was the dog from Pets. When the dog from Pets looks better than the original Sonic. I don't know how this have happened, and I just want to say how deeply sorrow I, sorrowful I am. I know I'm better than this. Let's get into why everyone clicked on this video. James Charles, biggest oopsie of 2019. James Charles will have a scandal similar to the one he's had before. James Charles, absolutely not. Bum 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 ba 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 ba. <laughs> oopsie doopsie whoopsie poopsie. This is a big one. James Charles going down to 16 million subscribers. And the internet could not be more thrilled. Congrats on 15 mil, been here since 16. <laughs> James Charles losing, Jesus Lord Almighty, 1.4 million subscribers. Breaking records in losing subscribers faster than anyone has ever gained subscribers. So what happened? Well, YouTuber Tati, Tati, Tati made a video called Bye Sister, a clever play on words because James Charles' slogan is, Hi sisters. And she called it, Bye sister? <laughs> the T. Now this video is 43 minutes long, so I did the favor of watching it for you. You are welcome. Jesus Christ. Can you not make it any more, less concise? 43 minutes, you expect everyone? Uh, people know James Charles already. He's pretty, I think most people in the beauty community kind of, the, yes, they're really big, but in the beauty community, but James Charles is just one of those figures that kind of, people know about him at least. And I think that's why this just got so massive. So what did she say? Well, she starts off by showing how they've been friends for a long time and she's been supporting James Charles for a long time. James is here to uh, do my bridal makeup, which is what I am wearing right now. Um, I just wanted to congratulate you on almost a million on Instagram. I want to say huge congratulations to James Charles. If you have not checked his channel out on YouTube. All right, we get it. She talks about why this video happened in the beginning, like why she's calling out James Charles, but it's very confusing. Unless you know what happened, you're not gonna understand anything of it. I'm gonna share a lot of it with you because I feel at this point that I have to because Gabriel Zamora decided because to- Because Gabriel, what does that mean? I don't understand. Oh God, do I have to watch? How many videos do I have to watch? I love him and I am there for this kid. It's a ruin through. So she's been supporting James for a long time. Then she talks how fame has changed James Charles. Fame, power, and a fat bank account will change almost anyone. And if you don't have people that will tell you to your face that you're doing the wrong things, you will change. And then she finished off by completely disassociating herself from James Charles. It feels like uh, she, she feels responsible for creating this monster that is James Charles and it makes sense to disassociate with that. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be associated with you. And I need to say that very publicly so that this chapter can just be closed. She explains some examples of how she helped James Charles with contracts and her husband helping him and all this sort of thing. Um, he didn't have money for the flight or hotel, so I paid for that happily. But your family, how can I help you? My husband would spend hours on the phone, looking over contracts, getting him in a better position. So we helped him get into a style hall back when basically no one wanted to work with him because of his Ebola scandal. And then finally, with the I think the most hard hitting thing is about how James Charles kind of used his fame and power to get straight people into getting with him. That's sort of his kink, it seems like. Okay, all right. And she calls out what's problematic about that. 
literally made me want to vomit. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again, and somehow you're the victim. You know, it's really disgusting to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood and don't quite have everything figured out. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. You're threatening to ruin them. You're threatening to embarrass them. That's basically the gist of the video. James C Charles, not a good person. I think there's plenty of reason to dislike him. I mean, we've seen so many strange things about him. As soon as anyone says anything about James Charles, you'll get this tweet saying, this is not funny, delete this immediately or my lawyer will be in contact. Okay. Full disclaimer, I'm not excusing his behavior. I don't think it's right. But with this massive amount of backlash, he's facing the biggest sub drop that anyone's ever faced on YouTube. Look at all the controversies that has happened on YouTube. Is this really like that comparable? It seems to me that a lot of people respect this Tati figure, at least in the beauty community. And James Charles is already this controversial figure that people aren't really sure about. So for her to make this big stance of disassociating herself from James Charles, it seems that a lot of people are just latching onto that just to shit on James Charles, which I get it. It's funny. It's like everyone is like, ha ha, unsubscribe, ha ha ha. Because there are a couple things about this that genuinely bother me when I saw it. Why did this video actually being made? Why, what caused her to get so upset? It's not really clear in the video, at least unless you understand what happened. I looked into it and the whole thing makes even less sense. At least, you know, for an outsider, I could still misunderstand things about it, but this is what caused the controversy. This Instagram post. To Sugar Bear Hair, I met their team weekend one at Coachella and they really helped me and my friends out with sister security because it was crazy. Um, you guys probably already know about their iconic hair vitamins, but they just came out with brand new vegan sleep vitamins. And first of all, they taste so bomb. But most importantly, I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety recently and it always comes late at night when I'm laying in bed thinking, which is not fun or fresh. Um, so I've been taking these 30 minutes before bed and they've been really, really helping. So if you guys want to check them out, you can swipe up. James Charles is dealing with existential dread. Just take some sleep vitamins. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's what caused his whole thing. And that is what caused Tati to go on Instagram and post this big rant about how upset she was. When you do so much for people in your life and they not only don't return the favor, but they just don't even see you. <laughs> So why was this a big deal for Tati? Well, Tati has her own brand of vitamins, which are health and beauty vitamins. So for him to not promo his friend, her friend's uh, vitamin product and still and promote some other product, apparently she felt very betrayed by this. I'm just so upset. The product that James promoted was for sleeping. Came out with brand new vegan sleep vitamins, and first of all, they taste so bomb. But Tati's product is for health and beauty. Yes, the company does do those type as well, but he specifically held up this bag of bowl, bottle of sleep pills, and that's what he talked about to sleep. So after Tati made this post on Instagram. <laughs> James Charles deleted the post and apologized, said, I want to publicly apologize to my close friend Tati. She's been like a mother and blah, 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 support. And this weekend I did an Instagram story for vitamins because they helped me with security at Coachella. I did not accept any money. Tati has a vitamin brand, which I take daily. I did not think about the competition, which was a major oversight. I've supported Tati both online and off like she's done to me. I'm devastated that I hurt someone that I truly love and have endless respect for. So he deleted the post, didn't take any money, and apologized. Maybe I'm naive. Seems to me like this was an oversight. From a creator's perspective, I've done this too. A brand does you a favor and you just be like, all right, fine, an Insta chat. <laughs> We're cool now. It's kind of like a throwaway thing. It doesn't seem impossible that this was just a mistake. You know, it seems like the kind of thing where they could just call each other and resolve this. But according to Tati, I want to share with you guys really quickly why I'm being so public about this because I know the first thing a lot of people will say is, hey, why didn't you pick up the phone? Why didn't you message him back? Like, you guys should have handled this privately. Right. Why not? I don't get it. I really don't get it. So let's hear the motivation to why she, she decided to make this video to destroy James Charles' career. I was planning on hopping in my car and, you know, 
sitting down with him, but I changed my mind very, very quickly. She was planning to talk to James, but she changed her mind. Why? When I found out that he had been giving his side to drama channels, he had been in contact with plenty of them. I immediately knew that this was all about damage control and had little to do with his care for me because I just don't. So basically, she didn't resolve this privately with James Charles because she found out that he's been talking to drama channels. Something that she admits that she's done as well. She said she talked to... I have spoken with two drama channels that reached out and one of them is here for the tea, the other is Tea Spill. Um, they're... So she's spoken to drama channels as well and this is the reason why she didn't want to talk to James. Well, if you go to one of the drama channels that she mentions, Tea Spill, tea spill. they post that James Charles said this. Until Tati feels comfortable and ready to talk to me in private, I don't feel comfortable commenting about her publicly. I immediately knew that this was all about damage control and had little to do with his care for me because I just don't. She was mad that he talked to drama channels because she thought he was gonna expose her. This is what he said. I really don't get it. I'm not here to defend James Charles. I just don't think what Tati did is that justified? She says how fame changed James Charles and that she's been this mentor figure for her, him. Fame, power, and a fat bank account will change almost anyone. She says she tried to be that person for him, but I think it's worth noting here that Tati is 37 years old. James Charles is still a teenager. Yes, he's 19. Yes, that doesn't excuse his behavior, but for a mother figure, to just completely drag this kid. Has no one, no one has a problem with this? Over something that could be resolved in private? I had, I have plenty of YouTubers being unfair to me publicly. That has been humiliating. But either we talk it out in private or I just stop being friends with them. It's not that difficult. I can't imagine just making a video publicly dragging someone instead of talking to them, ignoring their calls and just be like, I'm gonna drag this person online instead. It feels very manipulative, this whole thing. Maybe you don't agree with me on that, but I have a few more points to prove that. And it's how she talks about her brand. If you ask people, what, what did James Charles do? People will say, oh, he tried to manipulate people about their sexuality. That was the big drama, right? But then what has that to do with Tatiana's brand? It's good enough on its own and we're selling like hotcakes. Like I don't need to at this point. As we grow, maybe I will, but that's not where my spend is. Like I don't, I'm not gonna put $100,000 into an Instagram post for someone to jam a pill in their mouth and smile that probably isn't taking it. Um, I'd rather put that hundred thousand dollars into research and creating a really dope product that people really love And that's why they come back for more. My product is selling like hotcakes I just care about spending money to make my product as good as possible. These are she's this is an ad <laughs> Go with my intuition and to like really really try to do the right thing and to be a good person and I know I'm a role model and that matters to me and that has gravity to me. People see me as a good person and I know I'm a role model. It feels a lot like James Charles bad, me very good, very good. My brand good, James Charles bad. And I want to make a difference and let me also share that when I do reach the level of success that I hope to with Hale, I'm going to make a lot of positive changes. I have huge plans for what I want to do to give back and <laughs> I have a she want to do good with this brand. Oh, she has plans for huge changes to do a lot of good. Then just do it. Saying you're gonna do good things means nothing, okay? It's just another thing. It just feels weird to me how everyone absolutely love her. Look how many people like this video. It feels very manipulative. She's putting herself on a pedestal while she clearly was completely fine not outing this behavior about James Charles, essentially abusing people's sexuality. And as long as James Charles would have instead promoted her vitamins, she would have been fine with it. She would not have made this video. She would have been good boy James Charles, thank you very much. All these issues arise just because it was an opportunity for her to do that. And I do have a big problem with that.
and to be a good person. And I know I'm a role model and that matters to me. And the fact that a lot of people are celebrating this as a, something positive, because yes, it's fun to drag someone online. It's very troubling to me how this sort of behavior gets rewarded online. This is 24 million views. For me to be the only one thinking this way, it feels a bit weird to me. And that's why I feel like I have to bring my opinion on this from a YouTuber perspective. James Charles has not been secret about liking straight guys. It's something that he's been spelling out for years. Attractive straight boys will be the death of me. You have an issue with straight boys. You need to work it out. I'm working on a girl. <laughs> you have to be able to find a masculine gay guy. I mean, there are a million of them, but there's no challenge in that. That's never gonna end in a relationship. Well, not with that attitude, it won't. <laughs> well, if anything, you're just looking in the wrong places. Like, maybe stop looking at the straight guy. So people were fine with this until it became a big deal. Until she, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Now everyone's unfollowing James Charles. Like all these people in the community that are also so controversial have all unfollowed him. I feel like there has to be something else, right? There has to be something else that James Charles has done that I don't know about, that it hasn't surfaced yet. Because otherwise this, I, this doesn't make sense to me. I'm not saying that I think he's innocent. I just say they both expose themselves, in my opinion. So again, according to Tati, this whole thing started because Tati thinks that he went through this elaborate stunt at Coachella about security to make a promo for this vitamin brand on Instagram. And everyone's going... Yay, T! Fucking cringe. <laughs> so pathetic, all of you. That's just my opinion. I'm Poppy Poopy Pup. Goodbye.